early morning on the homestead and the rooster's going nuts. Let's see if we can get him to call out again. <laughs> he is a weak crow. So this is what we're going to be working on this morning. Getting this all cleared down. This is going to be the big project of the day. You guys will be watching this late this evening. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, we've got the chicken coop project. So as you guys know, I used to build chicken coops for a living, and this was one of the very first coops I ever built. It has actually held up really well over the last five years. I've got a few minor repairs that need to be done to it from it sitting empty without having any chickens in it for about a year. So now that we have a new flock and are doing the chicken thing again, we are going to clean this up a little bit. I need to pull the door off and uh, basically shave off a little bit of the wood, restain it, fix the galvanized mesh at the bottom, and reinstall it. So that'll take a little bit. And then, of course, removing this big ass tree that fell on the coop this last fall. I need to go through and cut that down. That's gonna be the first thing that we do today. And then after that, we are going to get to the coop itself. Also going to go through with a bunch of caulk and caulk all of the interior around the roof and then about a foot down on each of the sides. Now I don't wanna seal it in too much because we do want the wind to still be able to blow through it here in the hot summers in Oklahoma. So right now, we're already in the high 80s and it's supposed to be high 90s all the next couple of weeks. So I wanna make sure that they have adequate ventilation and then of course, adequate shade without having a tree on the coop. So we're gonna cut that and then trim back a lot of these branches to kind of help with the flow of air, but not cut so much back that we eliminate all of our shade for our run. Now, the chickens are not going to be staying in this area all the time. In fact, we are working on a separate part of the yard that is completely already fenced off that we need to do a few improvements to, and then we're gonna use that as our free range area. It's pretty big. It's definitely perfect for 12 chickens to go to every day. So that's what we're working on. And once we get all of this done, then we'll work on that area and I'll show you that as well in the coming videos. But right now, we're just going to be working on the old coop and run and then getting the tree down today. So let's go ahead and get that started, shall we? In time lapse? I think so. Okay, so there you have it. We just removed what seemed like an entire tree, about a quarter of a tree, big ass branch. You probably saw me struggle in there at the end, getting the final big piece out of the rest of the tree. And I'll take you over there and show you how it looks now. 
Okay, so this big ass piece right here was hanging from that piece of bark right there broke off in a storm this last fall. Uh, I'm gonna come by with the big chainsaw and cut that up. That is the hole that's left from where the branch was. As you can see, we got some debris on the roof of the chicken coop, but no major damage whatsoever. Roof really looks like it's in good shape. Rest of the coop looks like it's in good shape. Definitely need to throw some more hardware screws along the side of the uh, galvanized mesh. But besides that, everything looks to be holding up pretty well, even with the tree falling on it. And then the chickens are happy as clams. They'll be even more happy once we get them into their run area, but we can't do that until we finish up the coop. Oh, so at this point, I'm gonna take a break because I'm hot, I'm sweaty, it's almost 100 degrees in Oklahoma. And I just took down a whole tree and moved it. So if you guys didn't notice, I am actually putting the debris from that tree in my garden boxes. It is gonna be my filler Big shout out to whoever suggested that. The uh, tree limb filler. We're gonna go through with the uh, big chainsaw. I'm gonna cut all that stuff up into uh, four to two foot sections. And then I'm gonna lay them in the garden boxes. And I'll show you, I've already got one started if I can find a way around this brush pile. Right, here we go, flip it around. So as you can see, I've already started to throw some sticks in there. I'm basically going to fill these to the top with sticks and leaves and not compress them down. Throw my soil and compost over the top of that and that will compress them down. Probably gonna have somewhere between 10 to 14 inches of that debris and then of course filled in with dirt on top of that and this is what they look like before we start filling them in then of course as you guys have seen we still have two that we need to go pick up soil for and then the compost coming along very nicely did a turn two days ago and wet it down real good and man it is coming along good there's some super fertile soil down in there tons of earthworms Super stoked about that. That's gonna be some really good compost to grow in. Okay, so we've got the tree down. We will start on the coop maintenance next, after this break. See you in a second. So I didn't end up finishing the maintenance part on the coop. We will see that in part two. Ended up getting really hot and there were several other things that I needed to work on. Got a rainstorm coming in. So I needed to get all of the garage shell stuff organized and in the storage unit. So we got that finished. And then I also had to uh, make sure and get the rest of those limbs cut up and put in the boxes. So they're in there and I will show you that on part two. I want to thank you guys for joining me right here on Drink Smoke Build. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to mashy mashy on that like button and hit the bell notification as well if you like this content. Love you guys. We will see you next time. Billy D signing out.